we want to be the number one CRM for scaling companies. For us, that means a couple things. It means it's got to be customizable, it's got to be well-connected, and it's got to be customer-centric. When we think about customizing the CRM, we don't just want to make it easy to customize the database part of the CRM. We also want to make it easy to customize the CRM for the users that are using the CRM. When we think about customization without complexity for the admin, for the ops person, for the developer, part of that is enabling them to test these customizations before they go live. So we're offering a sandbox that's a very production-like environment that's going to enable those folks to do a little test drive and to make sure that it's going to work the way they thought it would before they go ahead and push it live. Customer expectations around digital experiences have just increased so much. A lot of what drives those cobbled experiences is because businesses have let their systems define what's possible rather than thinking about what's the what's the great experience they want to build and then being able to build that. Ops people are the glue of the CRM in a lot of ways, right? And so I think that this crafted approach that we have actually empowers ops people probably better than any other platform, right? Right, and so with Operations Hub Enterprise, we're launching a new system inside of HubSpot called data sets where operations teams can manage their data, they can do calculations on top of their data, and then they can save uh, these data sets that can be reused by everybody downstream, which is really powerful for operations teams. It's powerful for operations teams, but it's also powerful for folks like marketers, sales reps, support reps. They have access to the data without having to manipulate it themselves. Uh, super, super powerful. And again, that's what our goal is in terms of making HubSpot really easy to use for those folks. All right, let's talk about payments for a second because there's a lot of pain around this whole buyer experience and buying in general. I think there's a lot of companies that don't think about selling online because they think it's not for them. They think like, oh, I'm not like a traditional e-commerce company, right. so I shouldn't be thinking about this. A lot of them think that way because even though there might be a touchless side of the experience, there's also you know a side where you are interacting with the person in order to buy something, and it's hard to think for them to think about bridging that gap. And that's exactly what payments does inside of HubSpot. Commerce has to be part of CRM or else it's not a CRM. Yeah. We are trying to rethink and reformulate what a CRM should be. And we think like there's just a new baseline. A modern CRM needs to have certain things, and then there's still lots of room for partners and extensibility and customization and all that. So I think we are sort of leading the way on the new sort of wave here. You shouldn't have to work for your CRM. <laughs> your CRM should just work for you. Yeah, and totally. And that's our vision for the future.